Hello, you absolute legends. I'm going to be honest with you. Speedrunning Goldeneye has a lot in common with playing slot machines. Sure, there is a ton of skill involved, but let's not kid ourselves. There's also a lot of luck needed for some of these records. Now, I could show you some RNG heavy records that speedrunners spent hundreds of hours to achieve. But in my opinion, if you play a level long enough, eventually the odds become stacked in your favor. No, today I'm going to share with you speedruns that should never have happened the way they did. These are the true miracles of GoldenEye 007 speedrunning. In 2002, Brian Bossart was new to the GoldenEye speedrunning community. He was a skilled runner, showing immense promise early on in his career, achieving several new records within the first few months of joining the GoldenEye ranks. But no one could have predicted what would happen on September 27, 2002. The world record for Damn Agent was 54 seconds at the time, tied by 36 players. Brian decides to play. Not to try to beat 54 necessarily, as it wasn't even known if it was possible. No, he's just interested in testing the waters. You know, get a reasonably nice run and see what the end time is. Well, as it turned out, it didn't take very long at all to get that run. Only within a couple of hours, Brian achieves a new record of 53 seconds. The run was stunning. It began with a very nice guard boost. The next set of gates, a feature that is heavily luck dependent, opened insanely fast, likely faster than ever before, certainly the fastest Brian had ever had. He clutched the frame perfect lock shot, and the strafing throughout the level was immaculate. The record would remain unmatched for two years, and would stand as the record for more than 15. Imagine that, Brian, a relative newcomer, joining the community only three months earlier, he plays Damn Agent on a whim, and achieves what would go on to become the longest standing world record in GoldenEye history. Truly amazing. In 2015, Logan Jordan did something that was thought to be impossible for almost 10 years. In order to appreciate exactly what happened, we need to first go back to 2006. The runner Michael Kirkness was playing around on Depot Agent with the Turbo Mote cheat and discovered that it was possible to warp through one of the roller doors near the end of the stage. It seemed really promising, because if it actually worked without cheats, it would easily lower the world record. But unfortunately, it just didn't seem possible. It seemed as though it could only be done while taking advantage of the super speed that the Turbo Mode cheat allows. Over the years, it was brought up numerous times on the forums, and people never really completely lost hope that it might be possible to replicate under normal conditions. Now let's jump back to Logan Jordan. He was attempting to tie the current world record of 25 seconds. With the strategy that was in use at the time, we required a boost from a guard midway through the level. This guard would only appear on attempts that had the correct opening cinema, of which there are several. Naturally, runners would reset any attempt if they didn't get the correct cinema. But Logan would occasionally play out runs that had a bad cinema and attempt to go for the warp. It seemed like a fool's errand, but on the 26th of April 2015, Logan achieved this run. There's an article I've read on why they didn't do that. Because they obviously could have. The reason is kind of stupid. You can see just how shocked Logan was to have actually warped the door. For nine years, numerous runners had tried in vain to make the warp, but all had failed. The odds of Logan accidentally achieving this run are shockingly low. It is absolutely mind-blowing. Even now, knowing full well the warp is possible, 
players still often take many hours to achieve a single warp. In August of 2012, a total of 22 people held the street's agent world record of 1 minute and 13 seconds. The record had been set over 7 years ago, and the possibility of achieving 1 minute and 12 seconds was a common topic. It all culminated in the offering of a small bounty of $100 being offered to the person who could beat the record. The person that stepped up to the plate was Mark Rusu, one of the most talented runners to ever play Goldeneye. After an 80 hour grind, he achieves 112 on the 15th of August. It was considered to be essentially a perfect run. It remained untied for almost one and a half years, but honestly, it really should have remained untied for a lot longer. Mark's run was insane, but it is not Mark's run that makes this list. On Christmas Day of 2013, Ryan Lockwood was playing Streets Agent, going for the time of 1.13. He was around 10 hours into his grind, and he pulls off one of the clutchiest runs of all time. Now I'm sure you've all heard Lockwood's reaction to achieving 1.12 and tying Mark Rutsu. But the reaction really is only half of the story. The run itself is just as incredible. Everything about this run is crazy. He had three guards boost him forwards without being shot backwards a single time. This is incredibly rare. He then got boosted by the grenade launcher guard and managed to kill him with a single headshot. This is not standard, as this guard has body armor and players will almost always fire multiple bullets. Combining the four guard boosts with the six grenade boosts you can get with the grenade launcher, that totals 10 boosts. When Mark Rutsu played 80 hours to get 112, he did it with a run that only had eight total boosts. The end of the run was great as well. And as Ryan mentioned in his reaction, he really did get there on the perfect line. Ryan Lockwood won the lottery with this run. If he had been grinding this for 100 hours, it still would have been a crazy lucky run. But to get this so early, and to completely skip over 113, it really does make this the luckiest run in GoldenEye history. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.